Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Wolfocity and today we are doing a engine rebuild. So I bought a car off the classifieds and I pulled all the intercooling piping off and I painted it all. We're going to have a blue theme for the engine. I think it's going to look really cool with this orange. So I painted the frame blood orange and I painted these intercooler pipings. I painted these blue, just normal blue, even including the air filter, which we are going to replace, as you can see at the top there. It says it has 114 out of 75 hours. So this damage system that they have, it's kind of hard to understand when you're first starting, but the numbers on the left, those are hours. And then the percentage of where is what the percent is. So this has 114 hours out of 75. So the life expectancy is 75 hours for this air filter. So that's basically how the wear system works. And then inspecting, you just look at the item and you see at the bar at the top, boom, we just inspected that. So this engine, I didn't know it came like this, but it came turboed already, which is really handy. But as you can see, the turbo is pretty worn. So it has a 411 hours on the, on the turbo. So. I think we're going to have to end up replacing that, but that's not what we're focusing on today. We're just going to get this thing tore down to the block, and then we're going to start doing a bottom end rebuild and then work our way out. So this might be a multiple episode engine build because I don't have a ton of time to sit here and do this. We are going to be doing the auto, auto fasten and auto unfasten just to speed things up a little bit. And along the way, we're going to replace a few parts. We can't replace a ton. Like, uh, we might replace this intake manifold, but I wanted to use this one on a previous build, which was that one right there. I'll show that one off in a minute. But I wanted to use this. This is a ITB manifold. I think this just goes on a regular non turboed engine, just because it wouldn't work. So. Then we got a few extra parts laying around. We got this an extra exhaust cam that I accidentally bought. And uh, we already took off all the, the body panel pieces. So what we can do is actually we're going to paint these our blood orange. These are all going to be blood orange, which I think it looks really cool. And this is off a uh, this is off the first car that I ever built was the catfish. And I did like this cool purple purple looking color and I think it turned out really good I don't have any screenshots of it though unfortunately but this one this is uh, the thumbnail of the first episode of wrench that I did so we'll go ahead and pull off the end pull off the, the hood on this and take a look so all this is custom painted uh, I don't know exactly what color that I think that's teal I think I did teal on the engine and then I did like a, a, mint, a mint green that's what it was I did mint green on the frame and this is a completely rebuilt. I replaced every single part in this car. So that way it's all brand new. Wheels, tires, and everything. And it looked it turned out really nice. I like it. I haven't raced it yet. I haven't had a race pop up for this class car. So this one is a real rear wheel drive unlimited, which this one's the same thing. This is the race model and this the one we just bought is the Exoset Sport. So I think we'll go ahead and just get tearing into it. You can also paint you can paint these plug wires, which I think is really cool too. So we'll go ahead and pull these out. Looks like we're already gonna have to replace these. Oh yeah. They're well used. So we'll go ahead and replace those later. We'll pull the head pull the valve cover off. We're gonna take this and we're gonna set this way over here, just because we don't need it right now. And then how I organize everything so I remember what goes with what is I put the bolts with the part right next to it. I leave a little space in between. So I'll show you over here. So here's the transmission. Here's all the bell housing bolts. Drive shaft with the drive shaft bolts. The PPF with the long bolts which looks like these may possibly need to be replaced. I think we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and 100% this car. We'll go ahead and uh, replace every single part in it. So yeah, I think we're gonna we're definitely gonna do a new valve cover just because I don't really like this one because of this little cover. So if you see here, you got your uh, your cam gears. 
you can get these uh, uh, ionized so they already come blue you can't really paint those ones but these ones you can you can paint a little bit I think on that one I think I did teal too so I think we're definitely gonna go ahead and paint these or just get the ionized blue ones and then uh, yeah so whatever parts we see we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and paint but yeah let's just get let's get going on this thing we got lots to do and not a lot of time looks like the thermostat we're probably gonna go ahead and replace and before I forget I like to just take all the bolts that goes with a specific part and just put them together so take all this off so this is all crankshaft stuff whoops right we gotta take this out and take that off to be able to pull this off there we go so put that there crankshaft pulley boss and then we're down to the crankshaft sprocket so now we're gonna take uh, these bolts and then a big bolt and then this is the accessory belt tensioner bolt looks like we're gonna go ahead and alt replace replace the alternator as well that's what I'm thinking so that's not gonna come off just yet this will that we can save because it doesn't have an hour count but the alternator will be replaced we can get an alternator rebuild kit for that um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of our way. So take that off. Which that whole thing will just come off. Perfect. We'll probably end up replacing that with either a new part or just the same part. I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll get there. We'll we'll think about it when we get there. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and take this turbo off as well. Is that not gonna come off? I think it just comes off with the turbo manifold yep we'll just take all that off we'll set that to the side do not lose these bolts or nuts yeah I'm glad to see that everybody that watched seems like the wrench is doing pretty well on my channel so I'm gonna continue doing this for uh, at least a little while as long as people like it I'll keep doing it because wrench is a really fun game and you know, I want to show it off to people because I'm sure you know there's other people out there that like these style games just like I do so I wanted to share this game with people because I didn't know about this game until early this year and this game has been out for a while as well so I think we gotta take that off when we get when we get to the head which we should be able to take this off now so we'll go ahead and do that and then this we're just going to set right over here because we will do that separately uh, there we go not have it fall through we'll set our bolts right here uh, these can come off engine mount horns which for my future self these are the engine mounting nuts so if in a future video when we uh, finish rebuilding this and go to put it back in the car and I don't know where the nuts are this is where they are they're right next to my trophy set them there so I don't have a cluttered hot bar don't really want to deal with that it's bothersome to me set those down so we're already getting pretty far along on this engine this head gasket only has 12 hours on it but like I said, I think we're going to completely 100% this. Oil filter is completely done for. I have extras laying around, so we'll go ahead and use those starter. We don't have to do anything with. just pulls right off. I'm sure we're probably going to end up rebuilding the clutch. That's okay. So head gasket, we'll set that off to the side. Um, We can take this out, which we will put this with the crankshaft stuff take our crankshaft sprocket I'm sure this front main seal is going to need to be replaced as well oh definitely so we'll go ahead and set that off to the side I'm gonna start adding stuff in my cart whoops 
too many. Front main seal, we want one of those. So we'll go ahead and pull off the oil pan. I didn't drain the oil in this. Perfectly fine, we'll just pull it out. There we go. Oil will just spill out everywhere, it's okay. We'll set that right there along with all of its bolts it needs. There is also other parts we need to take off of that, but we will get to that later. I just want to focus mainly on the engine block for this episode. I want to get to the bottom and then start with our bottom end rebuild. So we're going to need to take off the pressure plate. Basically the entire clutch assembly, we'll set that off to the side, we'll deal with that at a later date. I just want to get this out of my way. So these are the pressure plate bolts, so set those right in front of it so we know where they go. And then our flywheel bolts, go ahead and set these off to the side as well. That. We're getting there, almost to just a bare block. We have a few more parts to take off. This is going to have to go on later. I've had a few issues with that. So we've got our oil pump. We'll go ahead and take that off next. I guess not quite. I think we need to, yeah, we need to take off the oil pickup tube. So we'll take that off. Set that with that. And then all these bolts will go with the oil pump. So I'm not entirely sure when this episode's going to come out, but if it happens to come out when I plan to, then happy 4th of July to my American viewers. Hope you have a happy holiday. I unfortunately will be stuck at work. That's my plans for the 4th of July is basically just work. And for any other viewers, I hope you had a happy weekend. See, let's get the water pump out of the way. There is a gasket on the back of this that I'm probably going to end up forgetting about, but I will go ahead and remove that now before I do forget. So I remember to replace that. So I'll go ahead and do that and get the water pump in the cart. Don't, oof, I didn't really think about it, but I don't really want to order all these parts at once. So I got this windage tray. I'm just going to set this over by the oil oil pan. Um, we have an oil cooler. Take that off. It's got its own like special nut so shouldn't be that hard to not lose. So then we have our rear main seal which of course is going to need to be replaced. So we'll then take that out and set it with our clutch because that's where it's going to go. Rear main seal retainer. I want to make sure I take that out too because there is also a, another seal on the bottom here that we're definitely going to need. Yeah, not definitely, but I just like to make sure that the, the car is going to be completely and fully rebuilt and ready to roll. So now all we have left is our crankshaft, which we will be able to take out in a few minutes here. All right, so that's basically the block with all the pistons and everything inside. So we can rotate our engine stand. So we can see with our light here. And I'm bright so we can see what we're doing here. All right, so now begins the teardown. So we're gonna take off all the main bearing caps first. So this is going to be the most tedious part. We'll set down all of our bearing caps right here. These all have main bearings in them. So we're going to need to replace those as well. Now these, it doesn't matter what order you put them back in. They're all the same thing. But for the valve setup in the head, it's a different story. You have to put them in a specific way. But we'll get to that when we when we get there. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I take all these out. And our uh, bottom end rebuild kit will come with all these parts that we're gonna need. So it will come with all these bearings for the for the rods and 
it, it sets us up pretty well with everything we're going to need. Might have to buy a few things. So two bolts per. Looks like we have one, one cap left, which is right here. Nice orderly fashion. So there we go. And we'll put our bolts down. Move those over just a little bit because it bothers me. There we go. That's nice. Nice and orderly. Just how I like it. All right. Now we have to go to the rod caps. So we'll take all these off. There should only be four of them because these are the bottoms of the pistons. So these ones also have bearings in them. Those are the rod bearings. Go ahead and get all these off. I feel like this game is a really good teacher. Teaches you mostly what to do. I don't know. I feel like with this game and my previous knowledge of vehicles, which is not much. It's just like a little basic stuff you can do in your backyard. Uh, I feel like I have a pretty good understanding of what to do. Of course, these are just really simple engines, but hey, it's something, right? All right, so we are going to go ahead and pop off these connecting rods, which is basically the entire piston. So now these are going to get really tedious because they have all the piston rings, which you do have to you do have to do. That's the that's the really fun intricate parts. That's just that's what I really like about this game is you can do pretty much everything. I mean, I think there's a few parts that you can't really deal with like like the transmission for example. You can't really like tear it apart and rebuild it, but I would love to see that. That'd be cool. Also, the transmission model is really rough. We're going to get this last piston out so we can get to the crankshaft. And then we'll be left almost with a full block. We'll go ahead and add that to cart too while we're at it. All right, so let's flip this back over so I don't have to crouch. Because there is more more bearings to deal with. There's bearings on the block. So they go with they go with these. So those ones will go inside the block and it would say in the in the thing in the name. Also you got thrust bearings too. Don't forget about these. These are really easy to miss. They're right right here. They're only on one cylinder. So you have those two. So I'm gonna go ahead. I think those come in the rebuild kit, so I won't actually add those to the cart. I don't want to add any of the unnecessary items to the cart. You don't really need that. So in the name it'll say main bearing block side, and then the other one it'll say cap side. So like for example right here, cap side, block side. So these ones go in the caps, these ones go in the blocks. Pretty self-explanatory, but it is really easy to forget or not understand. So yeah that's how you do that so that is almost a complete complete tore down block and then you got your oil squirter oil squirter bolts we'll take all these out and then these oil squirters can come out it's not necessary but we are going to re be replacing the block and we want to take these out and these need to go in first before you redo the pistons and all that so these will need to go in before you put anything else in. Otherwise, you're going to forget and then your engine won't run. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pop this off the stand. There's our completely disassembled engine block. This one's actually only at 45%, so I might save this for later. I'm going to set that in the corner. But we're going to go ahead and get a new engine block. I got to go back. Engine block, and then we're going to get our... Our kit bottom end rebuild kit and then I think if we just go to all parts and filter out kit so we got our ignition tune-up kit we got our suspension bushing front pad kit timing belt kit clutch kit we'll get the clutch kit too rear pad kit alternator install kit there's the IBT parts kit I think I'll go ahead and get the timing belt kit but I'm gonna have to remove I'm going to have to remove well, this, 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 
We move the timing belt and the spring. I think these come in the kit. I'll take them out for now just so I don't accidentally get them and have extra parts. So all in all, this is going to cost us about $3,100. We only have $8,000 after buying the car. The car cost me nineteen, dollars and we don't have that. So, okay. So I think we'll go ahead and complete this purchase, and then we'll focus solely on rebuilding the complete bottom end. All right. I love how they put the crankshaft on a pallet, but the engine block is in one of the boxes. So you just wait. You just wait and see. So there we go, there's our new crankshaft. So we'll take this and we're gonna start a parts pile. Uh, I don't have a ton of room. We'll start a parts pile over there. That's where all our junk parts are gonna go that we've already replaced. And then we'll go ahead and get our pallet out of the way. Of course it won't, there we go. Into the garbage bin. So what's in this box? Looks like our engine block, our clutch pack stuff. All of our piston rings, oh, that's going to be fun. And then what's in this one? This is our timing, accessory belt, and alternator. So we'll take this one over there. Go ahead and swap the parts out that we need to swap. These accessory belts, they don't have any durability on them. So I think I might just not use it. I don't know. I already have one sitting in the corner, so I actually didn't need that, but I'm hoping the spring is in here somewhere. I'm going to replace our alternator. All right, so I realized that we have to rebuild the pistons. So I bought all the parts for the pistons. I got the connecting rods, the piston heads, got the piston, the pin clips, and then all the piston piston rings and and stuff. I got all our new parts laid out, all the old ones that we don't need anymore thrown away. So we're going to go ahead and start building these pistons. This uh, shouldn't take too long. I have all the parts I need. I'm sure of it. I hope. We'll just do this all at once, do it one by one. All right, so the rings are the hardest. So that one goes on top. It might not let us put the rest on. Oh, it will, okay. Now sometimes it doesn't let you. So I'll get the bottom one put on. So this is the oil control. And then the next one will be the compression ring. Goes in the middle. And then our yeah compression ring. That one goes on top. I don't remember what I said. <laughs> I also realized that on the bottom of the connecting rod, there is another rod bearing. So you're going to need a total of eight rod bearings, which they all come with the bottom end rebuild kit. So everything you need will come in that, that rebuild kit besides the piston heads, the control rods, and the pin pin clips, which you can get those by either searching in the catalog or you can just shift G on it to add it to the cart. That's that's by the way, that's how I quick add stuff to the cart, is just shift G. Alright, so now we have all the rings in. We're going to finish getting these clips put in so they don't come flying apart. So there we go. Now we'll get our rod bearings on. And boom, rebuilt pistons right there. I also got our all our new seals. I got them put in. So in our, uh, where is it? Right here. Our rear oil pan seal rear main seal and then the retainer that's all put together uh, I didn't put the clutch back together yet I will I decided I'm gonna do that later so let's just go ahead and get all these bearings put on before I forget and not do it so we'll get all these put in their rightful spots I got the block on and I also I went with a blue metallic paint 
for the engine block. So that that's what color we're doing on this. I think it looks pretty good. Hopefully it won't clash too much with the other colors, other colors that we choose later on down the road. So like I said before, we'll get our oil squirters back in. These don't need to re be replaced. So that's good. And then we'll go ahead and pick all of these up so we can auto fasten. Auto fasten back in there. Boom, just like that. Now we will get our block side main bearings put back in along with our thrust bearings. Which I have sitting right there. And boom, that's done. So now we should be able to slide in the pistons. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Or no, no, we can't. No, we can't. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. We got to put the crankshaft back in. So now we have all our bearings in. The crankshaft can go in. And now we should be able to slide the pistons through and get them back on. There we go. And later when we're done rebuilding the engine, the engine timing, I would say, is probably the hardest part. But I'll show you how to do that when it comes to it. All right, we got all our pistons in. So now we're going to take our bearing caps. We'll put the, put the bearing caps on first, I think. At least set them in place. But I think we'll go ahead and tighten the, the rod bearing caps back on before we do these ones. Get our rod bearing rod caps. Get those all back on. I know it's probably disorienting me going disorienting with me going back and forth. But that's just this is how I how I do it in this game. We got all the bolts and nuts that we need. And go ahead and auto fasten. <laughs> Also, when you're doing auto fasten, make sure that you put both bolts in because I have done it before to where you do it and you like hover over one and then you put it on and it doesn't put both on. You have to make sure you hover between in the middle on the part itself so that way all the bolts that it needs to go on will go on at once so that way you don't forget. Of course, you don't have to worry about that if you're manually doing it yourself, which is very fun and I recommend at least trying it once. It takes a long time, but it's worth trying at least once. All right, so that is all done. So we can slap our windage tray back on and flip the engine back over. And I think this will be a good place to leave it. So thank you guys for watching. Well, actually, you know what? We'll put our head gasket on just because it's so easy. Boom, just like that. <laughs> all right. Now that, that's where I'm going to leave it off. I think we'll uh, go ahead and pick this up in the next episode. So that way it's not too, too long. Hopefully I can cut this down to a reasonable time. But hey, what do you expect with this game? It's so in-depth that just this alone has taken me about an hour to do. That's just with me talking and explaining what I'm doing and stuff. And fiddling around in the game but yeah thank you guys for watching if you guys are interested in seeing more please hit the like button hit the subscribe button for more content and i'll see you guys next time we'll continue doing the rest of the block work and then we'll go ahead and tackle the cylinder head casting and do all that this is very intric intricate work and this will be solely one episode just doing this part just because there's so much to do in here. We've got the block, I would say probably about 25% complete. And then we'll go ahead and get all these parts back on. Besides the, the plug wires, which I thought I got an ignition kit. But I don't remember seeing it. So I might have to get that for next time. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.
Don't forget to join the pack. Thank <laughs> you.